Hey traders, good morning, evening and afternoon, wherever you are. Um, today, where I am, it's a blue sky, sunny morning in France, in Rouen, France. I've been to Lille already, uh, stopped at uh, Chantilly and have continued on to Rouen. So I'm having sort of a break around France. France, as many of you will know, I'm sure if you own a map or something like that, <laughs> Uh, England is right by France, so we take the Euro Tunnel and we drive along and we end up there. So I'm here for a little while um, and then we're going to go and go near Paris, Versailles and things like that. So although I am moving around, I do have access to my computer. I bring it with me whenever I go on holiday just so I can manage what's going on. This video really is a short one explaining um, things that I'm looking for this week and where I'm trading this week. Okay, um, I do this via my MT4 broker. Um, and it's just so you can sort of get an idea of why and where I'm positioning myself briefly. Normally, I do um, in depth analysis for my private members academy. Uh, I will be doing that again, obviously. But with this one, I'm just going to keep it brief because, you know, everyone can see it and it's not as fair. So starting off on your pound New Zealand, you can see on my chart, we started off from 189 and we come all the way to 215. Now, if you follow me, you'll know that I use DCA, dollar cost averaging and hedging methods to trade moves like this. Now, the reason why is because if you look how far it's come up, OK, we take it from that. 188 actually position and you come all the way up here to your 215 just over 215 it's taken you up 14.36 percent okay um it's gone an awful long way uh, as you can see okay your volume bar is telling you that you've got 62.572 million all right for that period if i start scrolling along it changes all right it drops so in other words, you've come an awful, awful long way. Now, the reason why I use DCA methods to start is because you cannot pinpoint get this every single time. All right. It just won't happen. You really have to change your mindset if that's how you're trading, because your goal really at the end of the day is to take prices as the market comes up. OK. So you might have an entry here, all right, entry one, and you pre-plan this before markets open. That's mostly what I teach my academy members to do. You might have entry two there, okay, then this might be entry three. Now, of course, the market is stretching a very long way, okay? So you would have to do something about that, and that is why I teach people to hedge and everything like that. And drop their size and all those measures but in this one we're just going to talk about my bias and my bias for this market particularly is short i have various shorts in the market now um and i'm looking for a full i'm looking for a full down to here ultimately a lot of guys ask me where do i think it's going to get to well if you look on your weekly now you can see the only reasonable support is there all right but there is support at 212 on your daily OK, which I think you'll probably stop at first. And you can see that on your weekly as well with that candle there. So I think ultimately you'll come down here. I think you might stop at 2125, but I'm swing trading this and I'm holding short anything higher and I'm looking to add. Now, uh, similarly, you've got charts like your Euro New Zealand. All right. So you've got your Euro New Zealand dollar as well i also like this short again you've come up for such a long period of time this one's been slightly more flat as you can see you go up from the 4th of april but you do have various dips now if you look how long it is between each dip okay you've got one here and you've got one here it's about the same distance as what you're seeing now okay so i don't think really this is going to come down forever but again if you look on your weekly, you can clearly see that the only real existing support comes around 180757. All right, so you're currently at 
18389, so almost 184. And I think, like I said, I'm swing trading it, and I think you'll get nearer to 18075. Okay. At the end of the day, like I said, your job as a trader is to pick prices that are high and spread them out. All right. You'll never be pinpoint right every time. You don't need to be to make money. But if you just look at your stochastic oscillator, it's obvious you shouldn't be buying at this point. Okay. Because this is telling you this is a high average price. That is also why you're extremely far off your moving averages. Okay. Price always comes back to MAs. And the further away from them you are, the more unreal price is. Okay. In other words, the higher the price is and the better the value for shorts. Your S&P market as well is quite interesting. Lots of guys ask me about this. Um, I think you're going to drip slightly further. All right, you have actually bounced to where I previously liked it uh, long on this ticker, this uh, chart. I think it wouldn't surprise me if you get lower slightly. Now, again, look what's happening. You're crashing into that 100 MA. That's a really key MA price. It's getting more reasonable for the long side, seconded by the fact you're at your stochastic oscillator. Now, not only that, but if you go on your weekly as well, okay, you're you're arriving to levels of previous. Um, you got your push up previous resistance. It becomes new support. Okay, so you're arriving at levels of previous resistance, and that's becoming new support. All right, and you might slightly jitter along here okay it wouldn't shock me um but furthermore and what i prefer a lot more is this because if you look at your weekly you're coming down to that 40 ma really significant your stochastic oscillator is about halfway down in here i think you'll continue to see that fall and then you could smash it long here because you've got so much key support the more of it there is, and the more the the longer the period of time since you've hit it, normally it's hard to just break through that. All right. So that is my predetermined long zone for risk averse investing traders. Four two one five is ideal. You might get a little bounce around over here at just over four three. Okay. So my two predetermined zones for S and P futures are those. If you're wondering about gold, go and watch my editor's pick. It's 30,000 people, more or less, have seen it. Um, and it saved a lot of them because I told them exactly how to feel about it. And they haven't bought this bad position here. Okay. Where you had bought the A. In other words, there was no reason for you to take that. Okay. Um. But I feel you'll probably get nearer 187. Anything from 156 to 1872 is a long zone for me. But nearer 1870, I've said for a while, as I said on that post, is quite ideal. Okay? So, really, anything along here, I like it to the long side. All right? out there so i think you'll keep dripping there's no long side bias with this you can't really see anything major okay that is why it's opened up so small so i wouldn't be surprised if it drips down for that reason you've got no reason for it to massively fly up if you're wondering about the FTSE, um i've taken this long as well i like the FTSE long okay you've seen a bounce here You've seen about there, but importantly as well, you've got various levels of key support to the left hand side. Like I said, if you have loads of support and you haven't hit it for a while, sometimes it becomes very, very productive as a means of getting long again because it's hard for the market to forget about it and just smash right through. And as you can see previously, it doesn't. I am willing to add via DCA. And I'd do it near that 200 MA. Okay, that's a really good spot for re entries. All right, but if you do come up slightly, I'm exiting nearer 74. Okay, for anyone who's interested.
But you are coming up on that FTSE today, and I am already in gains. I had it long about 72 to 35 area. Um, moving on to your dollar CAD. Um, I like the dollar CAD short at the moment. Look how many green candles you've got. It's up and it's up and it's away. It's got to come back at some point. It is not going to last. All right. Just look over at that stochastic oscillator. Um, this hasn't done much either. It wouldn't entirely shock me if you get slightly higher before you come down. But nonetheless, my bias is short. I'm still holding short. And I'm not really bothered if it comes up slightly higher and then falls. I'm short anyway. All right. There's just better price action levels above. That probably will apply more impetus. And I'll probably be willing to add um, extra shorts if you can get up there. All right. Main thing here is just to notice you're well off your MAs again. And all these green candles pending a fall. So the further you go, guys, the more harsh prices away from where it should be and the more you should be looking to the short side. Okay. Um, Euro ward, I'm also short. On your odd dollar, New Zealand dollar, I'm long, conversely to um, other pairs. Um, if you just go on your monthly, okay, you can see you've been here before. Um, I think there's a chance your ord could dip slightly lower, just trickle down a bit like gold, because there's nothing extreme about it at the moment if you look on your lower time frames it's just falling and falling and falling however ultimately there will be a time where you hit a key price action level okay likely on your higher time frames and that provides impetus to the upside so if you are trying to catch it long further you could refer to these candle wicks but i would just drop your size and be very cautious okay but nonetheless it's a long i think when you do come long you'll go far further up whether that's lower or not, I don't know, but I'm going to add anyway. There are a few price action levels which I like over here from this period of time. Okay, so you might find you get to 6.3 and at that point I'll be willing to add more um, on the long side. So these are predetermined long-term long zones. Okay, because you can see this previous PA. And it's the same for your New Zealand dollar dollar. I wouldn't be shocked if you go lower. I really wouldn't. And again, you can see a couple of long-term price action zones, which we can use for guidance to the long side. Okay, so that's where I'm at. I'm in everything I've spoke about today, more or less. Um, so, you know, it's all about DCAing, and I'm going to tighten up my risk if the market drips too far. And that's exactly what I've taught all my members to do. Remember, if you want to get on board, don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe where you can. Um, but if you want to get on board with myself, it's free. I've put a link underneath. And if you're serious, you can take it a bit further. Thanks for watching, guys. More to come. And I'll be updating all my posts on TradingView as well. Thanks for watching. See you there.